Hey, hey what's guys. happening guys? We are finding the force. With me here I have little Land Insidious. And this is Obi Dad Kenobi. Well hello there. Thanks for joining us guys. We are going to take a look at the new retractable lightsaber footage that Disney just released in this like kind of a one minute bragging video about how awesome their technological advances have been with their attractions and entertainment and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it is pretty awesome and already analyzed in one of our recent videos and I'll put a link for that up above here called Six Things We Know About This Retractable Lightsaber, right bud? Yeah. We totally picked it apart. But uh, back from May the 4th, remember that footage of when Ray's like turns around and turns the lightsaber on yeah. and stuff? So uh, this is the same retractable lightsaber, but everyone and their grandma had seen Ray turn around. I think it was like the most <laughs> reposted video in all of social media this year, probably, right? Yeah, I reposted it. You did? Yeah. Well, you have a social media? Get out of here. What do you have, like a Facebook account or something? Oh, no. Uh, he has a hidden Facebook account. And so uh, everyone here, meet Bobby. Bobby is an Imagineer with Disney. Um, we can tell by his shirt that he's a very confident guy and a Zootopia fan to boot. And uh, he also takes his job and his safety very seriously while working. You see that face shield that he has in, yeah. in front of his face and stuff? Because <laughs> kind of like you, sometimes we just can't resist but to look down the barrel of that lightsaber, okay? You wouldn't want to retract yourself right in the eyeball, right? So that's why he has that plastic face shield uh, Maybe, with his lightsaber. I like punch my eye over but, <laughs> Out of the one minute uh, technology video that Disney released on YouTube, we get one second of footage to see this lightsaber uh, in working action, lights on, no blurry camera vision and stuff. We just get to see it, how it works in all of its glory. Let's uh, take a look at a couple of the clues that we can see here. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that we can see from the very first frame is that the tip is exposed. Oh yeah, Dad, I see it. Yep, just kind of peeking out there. So Bobby's playing just the tip. A little game called just the tip. Just for a second, just to see how it feels. <laughs> just kidding. He doesn't know what that is. But hey, that's okay. We'll give Disney some praise. We're going to be critical for just a few minutes here. But then we get to praise Disney for their awesome advances in lightsaber technology. It's super yeah. impressive, right, bud? And uh, what's the next thing that you notice, bud? The blade looks super bright. Right? I don't yeah. see any corn cobbing effect, as they say in the lightsaber world. Uh, you can't see any definite spaces between the lights, so they're using like enhanced LED technology. Like right there at his desk, uh, right bud, with all the wires yeah. connecting to the chassis, you can see the long strip uh, that they have all the lights inserted to, and that's what makes the blade so bright, right? Do the Galaxy's Edge sabers now, do they have advanced LEDs? No. No, they have they do have kind of a corn cob effect, but that's okay. They're trying to probably keep the cost down uh, for all the for all the Star Wars fans visiting Galaxy's Edge. They don't want to sell you five hundred dollar lightsabers. They're going to stick to $200, 150 dollar sabers. What do you think of that saber that he's holding? I think, I think it looks pretty thick. Yeah, that looks like a big metal foot long Subway sandwich, doesn't it? It's a pretty yeah. pretty big big hilt. You're not going to be doing any tricks with this thing, right? Yeah. They're going to be pretty hard for spinning tricks. And hey, some guys like their hilts thick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, what kind of hilts do you like, bud? Uh, I kind of like thin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. But uh, hey, no judgments here, guys. It's, you know, to each their own, right? Yep. Look at that grip. Those grips look a little small, don't they? Yeah. Have you heard of fat guy in little coat? Fat guy in little coat. Yeah, Chris Farley. He's hilarious, right? Rest yeah. in peace, Chris. This is uh, the lightsaber version of Big Hilt Little Grips. Big Hilt Little Grips. <laughs> yeah. If you make the whole hilt bigger, make the grips bigger too. It looks like yeah. you took the same grips off of the Legacy Saber, put it on this like big metal thermos saber, and they look a little, a little rinky dinky out of place, <laughs> right? Rinky dink. Thicken up those grips to be proportionate to the saber, and I think they're really onto something. When the blade completely extends, what do you notice the blade does, bud? It just sinks down a little bit. Yeah, it's a very subtle observation. We saw this in our video that we made too. No, I mean like a fraction of an inch, you can see the blade hinge down a little bit. So it's not as super sturdy, That it's not gonna be perfect and sturdy strong as it extends all the way out, but that's okay, right? Yeah. Because not only can this, is this the first retractable lightsaber that looks so good, but also looking at the blueprints from uh, our from our earlier video, that this is gonna have technology that you should be able to deflect blaster bolts 
when you're in the Galactic Star Cruiser Star Wars Hotel. Whoa. At, yeah, because they, they can't have people fighting with these things, right? Awesome lightsaber on the Galactic Star Cruiser. They want you to practice with it. You can't go beating up on stormtroopers. Yeah. You can't go hack up some, some Trade Federation droids. You know, so you, what else other fun things can you do with a lightsaber? Deflect some blaster bolts, right? Yeah. But this is totally just racking my brain. I cannot imagine how they're going to pull this off, but I know that they're going to because Disney's the bomb and bring the ruckus with all their technology. The blade does look like it's about 32 inches long, which is a, which is a standard blade length, right? That's yeah. cool, not too short. They didn't uh, get stingy on the length. And, but overall, you know, those are the small details that we can see in this one second of footage. But overall, what do you think of this lightsaber? It, this is awesome, this is <laughs> incredible. If this guy got his hands on the saber, he would turn it on and off all day long until that motor just broke down. It wouldn't even stand a chance. That's how you would wear yeah. that thing out so fast. So a great job, Disney. We are super impressed. This is the best retractable lightsaber in the world. You guys did it. And if you have the technology to ref like to reflect blaster bolts with this thing, that just blows my mind. You totally yeah. like <sighs> completely invented something brand new and something that the lightsaber in the Star Wars community has never seen before. So there's only two big questions that are on everybody's mind, right? Yeah. One, will this be for sale to the public, uh, right? We yeah. don't know, this might just be only something like a tool that you can use while on the Galactic Star Cruiser. And the second question is, what on earth are they going to charge for this retractable lightsaber? 200, 400, 600 dollars, I have no idea. Mm. Right? Yeah. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments, weigh in on those two big major questions that everybody's wondering. Do you hope that they sell these? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd buy one? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, well, there I'll you see. have it, guys. He is not definitely not going to college because we're going to spend his college money on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Up high. Oh. And don't forget, guys, to check out our YouTube channel tomorrow on Tuesday. We're gonna be posting a super in-depth preview video about all of the awesome experience that is the Galactic Star Cruiser. So you get a better idea of what you're actually paying for when it comes to that huge hefty price tag that we'll be talking about tomorrow, okay? So thank you so much for checking us out and make sure to have an awesome Star Wars Day! See you next time. Thank you.